havoc of the coronavirus pandemic. The Gambia Health System continues to build resilience for better health care service provision for the people. Key interventions include the rolling out of the National Health Insurance Scheme and the ongoing construction of a modern National Emergency Treatment Center, a blood transfusion center, a reference laboratory, and a training center in Farad. They will have up-to-date modern equipment to, help, to handle health emergencies and advanced diagnosis. Plans are afoot to complete the master plan for a new technical hospital in Farad. The Gambia is among the few countries that do not have quality laboratories for both drug and food testing. The smallest African country depends on other countries to conduct major tests. This could be attested to when over 80 children lost their lives with certain cough syrups. However, President Adam Obaro highlights that new plans are on the way for the aspects of food and drugs laboratory in the Gambia. Linked to drugs and food safety, my government is resolute about providing high quality medicine that meets local and international standards. To achieve this, a high quality laboratory complex is under construction in Brusubi to test imported food and drugs for safety. In addition, the health sector is piloting an electronic logistic management information system to track all medicines procured by government and other parties. Through the Ministry of Health, we are set to open five new state-of-the-art health centers in five strategic locations across the country. Gambians continue to live in hope and luck as many argue that the country's healthcare system is still stagnant with fewer healthcare service provisions. They also continue to call on the government to put up focus on reducing the high cost of living, expensive health care service delivery, and the good accommodation, among other pressing issues affecting day-to-day -day lives of Gambians. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariama Cham.